the new blob, for lack of a better term, it started forming around June, and already it's the third largest marine heat wave measured in the past 40 years. Scientists wanted to be sure of what was happening before alarming all of you to this new onset, but now they are sure. Take a look at what we know as the blob back in September of 2014 there on the left. And now on the right, you can see a pretty identical formation of marine heat. Now scientists say they have no idea how to predict it, but they do know what causes it. But when there are really low winds like we've had for the last several months and like we had at the beginning of the blob, that heat just remains in the surface waters and gets stored up uh, to the point that it's now in some places five degrees Fahrenheit warmer than it's supposed to be. And that's way too warm for a lot of organisms. They so a five degree temperature difference there, it's a huge change. Now the original blob devastated marine life leading to the deaths of millions of animals. You're looking at all of the dead salmon that we got video of back in 2015. Everything from seabirds to sea lions though also hurt by this. And then of course with that dead salmon, we think about the mammals that rely on them like our endangered orcas. Temperatures like this impact entire food chains. Warm water, it stretches all the way from the Gulf of Alaska down to California. California. The last event, it lasted a couple of years. So far, this one's lasted a couple of months. Of course, the longer it goes, the more devastating it is. Yeah, and we know that there's a lot of different fishing seasons that are coming up. I mean, is this going to impact fisheries at all? Yeah, that's part of the reason why scientists did come forward today to tell people with confidence that this is, in fact, happening to warn them of it. It's especially alarming because we know from what happened during the blob that the impacts can be, they can be massive and they can affect uh, a lot of species and the livelihoods of a lot of people. So this type of marine heat wave has such an impact on marine life that fishery biologists like Chris Harvey say commercial fishermen should be taking it into account when it comes to planning their fishing seasons, thinking about how much they're going to invest in it, even hiring fewer people to deal with what may be less fish out there in the ocean. Now, for those of us who are not recreational or commercial fisheries, there's still a warning here coming up at five. We're going to talk about the damaging effects that this has on the shore when it comes to us us, our kids.